السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر خان رومانا فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف زولوجی جے ٹی آرٹ سائنس اینڈ کامرس کالج فار وومین مالی گاؤں ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہارٹلی ویلکم یو ان مائی ویڈیو لیکچر ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی دی جنرل کیریکٹرسٹکس آف فائلم پوری فیرا ایز یو نو دیٹ دی باڈی آف دی پوری فیراز آر پرفوریٹیڈ بائی لارج نمبر آف پورس وچ آر کالڈ ایز اوسچیا تھرو وچ واٹر انٹرس دی باڈی ہنس دے آر کالڈ ایز اے پوری فیراز اور پور بیئرر اور دی آرگینزمس وچ بیئرنگ لارج نمبر آف دی پورس آن دیئر باڈیز آل سچ ٹائپ آف دی اینیملس آر کیپڈ ان دی فالم پوری فیرا As you know that Poriferas are all aquatic in their habitat. Mostly they are marine. Zada tarja marine water mein paaya jati hai. Except one family which is called as a Spongylidae. They live in fresh water. All the Poriferas are sessile and sedentary. They always attach to to any substratum or object and they grow like plants. The body shape of the Poriferas are vast-like or cylinder. Mostly Poriferas are asymmetrical, while some shows radial symmetry. As you know that body surface of the Poriferas are perforated by large number of the pores which are called as oscia. Through the oscia water enters the body and there is one or more large opening which is called as oscula through which water exit to oscia ke zariye pani jo hai wo jisme ke andar absorb hota hai dakhil hota hai aur osculum single cavity hoti hai opening hoti hai jisko osculum kaha jata hai jiske zariye pani jo hai kharij hota hai all the poriferas are multicellular organisms as you know that protozoan आर यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स आफ्टर द प्रोटोजुआ नेक्स्ट फाइलम इज पोरीफेरा अप टू दी फ्रॉम पोरीफेरा टू मैमल्स ऑल द ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर मल्टी सेलुलर बट देयर इज नो डिस्टिंक्ट टिश्यू और देयर इज नो डिस्टिंक्ट ऑर्गेन्स आर सीन इन केस ऑफ पोरीफेराज The body of Poriferas consists of two membrane or two layers. Outer membrane is called as ectoderm while inner membrane is called as a endoderm. And between this two membrane intermediate layer is also seen which is called as a mesenchyme. Due to presence of only ectoderm and endoderm Poriferas are called as a diploblastic organisms the interior space of the poriferans body having hollow cavity in which large number of canals are present and such canals are lined with specific type of cells which are called as a conocytes the interior space or cavity of the poriferas body is called as a spongocele spongocele is a body cavity of poriferans the body of poriferas are supported by large number of thin needle like calcareous spicules spongin fibers or siliceous spicules which form the endoskeleton of the body of the poriferas in case of poriferas mouth is absent and digestion is always intracellular excretory and respiratory organs are absent in fresh water poriferas contractile vacuoles are present which act as a organ of osmoregulation the nervous system 
and sensory cells are not differentiated they are not well developed the nervous system is primitive type which consists of large number of the neurons and such neurons are arranged in a definite network of bipolar or multipolar cells in some peripheries mostly peripheries are monoecious or hermaphrodite means single organism having both male and female reproductive organs in case of periphera both sexual as well as asexual reproduction is seen asexual reproduction occurs by budding or by gymules periphery possess high power of regeneration means if any part of the body of the periphery cut or lost immediate they are replaced by new organ or new part in some periphery sexual reproduction takes place and sexual reproduction takes place by egg and sperms fertilization is internal but sometimes cross fertilization is seen means egg from the one organism and sperm from the another organism so united together in this way cross fertilization is also seen in some periphery fertilized egg shows division which is called as a cleavage and cleavage is holoblastic development in case of periphery is always indirect means through a free swimming ciliated larval stages and the larval stages of the periphery are called amphiblastula or parenchymula examples of the periphery are cycon clethrina euplectella hyalonema spongilla u spongilla etc these all are the examples of the periphery dear students these all are the general characteristics of the phylum periphery thank you